Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 7th episode of my RPG Maker VS Ace video tutorials. In this episode, I will be showing you guys how to add your very own custom scripts. And if you like this video or any of my other videos, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to me for more videos. And let's start this. If you want to add custom scripts to your game, there's two things you can do. And one I do not recommend, but for tutorial purposes, I would like to show you guys. So you basically go to your game folder, um, tutorial world, and then you go into your data folder. Here is everything you replace, it replaces every single thing in your game. Let's say you replace the animations folder, it's gonna replace everything in your animation. In your animation database meaning where is it so let's say you replace it with something that has only one animation in it it will only just have one animation in it so I do not do not do this if you have other custom scripts in your game only do this if you're like um, adding a pack of scripts to your game and it's like all in one it's all in one place and you just want to add it and you don't have any other custom scripts to your game so do not do this unless you're doing that and the main way to import scripts is by going to your let me go ahead and do this i have the, i have it on split screen because i'm going to be importing the sas4 which is starfire action system into my, our game so go ahead and open up your script editor with your script editor opened actually hold on i would rather do this to the database open up your script editor for every custom script you add into your game has to be under materials and above main process i'll repeat that again under materials and above main process you see where it says insert here you could replace this if you want to but you don't have to but you could just start your new script by adding them to here so if you want if you want to add custom scripts to your games basically let me go ahead and close these out because i'm not going to be using these basically all you need all you would have to do well there's other places to find custom scripts but this is where i get most of my custom scripts from you go down to rpgmakervsa.net you go to completed script um completed rgss3 scripts and here is where you will find a whole bunch of script that other people made some you have to pay for if you want to use them in commercial games and some are just free to use 100 percent um what i usually do is go to master script list on site but if you want a whole if you want more to the list you go to master script list on the wiki page why I like this master scripts um, list on site is because it's broken down into categories on what you want while the one on the wiki is just a whole bunch of script and you don't know which one does and what each one what they do while this one explains it to you so you go to gameplay futures you know that they're all gameplay futures okay so when you find your script some come in the demo that you have to download and some just come with only the text so if you want to add a script and let's say you're doing it with a demo you go ahead and also open up your script editor and then you scroll down to remember it has to be well this is the japanese um version or something so it's not going to say but this is basically materials and this is main process i think yeah this is remember it has to be be below materials and above main process on main so do not copy that just for the title so you could do you could do this two ways one by just copying the text and then naming it what you want later or you could just simply copy paste copy paste some script only some scripts are only one and they come in a um in a pack like this, meaning that you need all these scripts to make. Some scripts are just one script by itself, and then some are just like multiple parts to it to make it run. You need all of them. You need all, like this one for example. 
you don't just download the action system you also need the hud the damage sprite the heal player these are basically add-ons to it but some aren't add-ons to it some are like requirements so let's go ahead and press okay now i have these custom scripts in my game i can now close this out and now every time you get a custom script always go to that script and read the information like the terms of use how to set it up because some script are for advanced users only meaning that only advanced users are going to get what to do with that script and some are just plug and play meaning as soon as you put it in it works some have settings to configure some don't like this one there's some settings you could configure like right here i'm gonna go ahead and not do all of that but actually change this to 30 because i want my action to be fast i want the action the gameplay to be faster and some don't work unless you call up a script like this one i've already copied the script and it comes in the demo so you know what to do and i did it i put it here so basically this um this every time you want the game to run you basically just call the script uh, i mean every time you want the script to run you call the script up let me go ahead and do uh auto run and then cell switch cell switch a make a new page and tick tick the um cell switch a on let's go ahead and save this and now let's go ahead and test this um script out see if it works Oh, my bad again. Some scripts require custom graphics like this one. So basically just go back to your go back to your game folder, which is RPG Maker VSH. Uh -huh. Graphics. If the script require custom graphics, it will tell you in the descriptions of the script and it will also tell you in the script itself. Um, go to graphics, go to system. I believe that's what that's in. All you basically do is copy it over or move it over. And then you go ahead. Go ahead and run your game. It should work. As you can see, I now have a HUD and it says... Um, Eric because I'm using the Eric but it's the Eric actor but it's a different um it's a different what do you call it it's a different oh see some only doesn't um what do you see hold on time out I'm getting confused but some scripts also require not only custom graphics but custom sounds so I'm trying to rush this video so I'm like forgetting to do stuff. So go to audio. Go back to audio. Um, do I have any custom audio? I think I okay, yeah, I do. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy these because I don't have any custom of those. Just copy those over. Do I need any? Okay. Now I should have all the stuff that I need for the game to work. I mean for the script to work. now everything is working and since i still have a problem with the custom with the custom um icon set let me go ahead and remove that because i'm i have i have just been having a whole bunch of problem with that so go back to tutorial world i'm trying to keep this video short graphics system icon set once i remove this is going to replace it with a default icon system so you will see what the game will basically look like okay i have my trusty axe i'm gonna call it the axe of power although that's not what it's called i'm in tutorial world with the tutorial guy so that's basically how you add custom scripts to your game this script you do have to configure like enemies and put stuff like that it's not just uh well, it's a custom battle system. There's, uh, there's some way simpler scripts to add onto your game, like the plug and play ones, and there's some advanced one. This is more intermediate. It's not advanced and it's not simple, but basically, yeah. And that is how you add custom scripts to your games to give it more energy and make it feel more unique when players are playing it. 
and that would be all for this video i will catch you guys in the next one and that will be starting my let's play right after this video thanks again for watching make sure to subscribe for more videos like this one peace